we are off to Shogun Sushi in Markham, Ontario. That's right, for a massive sushi challenge. Absolutely giant, giant, giant sushi challenge. My hair's a little wild this morning, but check this out. I eat animals. That's right, y'all. New merch coming your way. Maybe it's even out right now. Story's going live very soon, so stay tuned for updates. And of course, the links will always be down below to cop some of that merch. So what we're doing today, we're going to eat, I believe the challenge is like 232 pieces of sushi or something like that, consisting of a variety of sashimi, of maki, of nigiri. It's absolutely a crazy huge sushi challenge. Where the number 232 came in, I guess like they heard something along the lines of like, I've eaten 200 pieces before. So they're like, I want to see if you can eat more. Last time I had a big sushi challenge, uh, it got me pretty good. So let's ultimately go see what happens. It should be a lot of fun. I know we're gonna have one hour, one hour to eat the uh, sushi, to get it for free, to complete the challenge. So hopefully we can get that done, but it should be a lot of fun. Um, I don't know any of the varieties or anything, so we'll get all the information for you. But that, let's hit the road, head to Markham, go to Shogun Sushi, and let's get eating. Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. Today we're here at Shogun Sushi here in Markham, Ontario. It's this place actually been here for over 20 years, well established in the sushi game, and of course they specialize in sushi, maki, and sashimi, and which we have all in front of us today. In fact, we have 232, that's right, 232 pieces of sushi, sashimi, nigiri in front of me, so it's absolutely insane. This is a massive, massive sushi challenge, so we better batten down the hatches and go for it. So to kind of walk us through what we have in front of us, um, they set me up with literally the whole menu basically. So we have red dragon rolls, I have black dragon rolls, I have orange dragon rolls, I have green dragon rolls. I have um, snapper, shrimp, crab, salmon, nigiri over here. I have avocado nigiri. I have spicy salmon rolls. I have kamikaze rolls. I have uh, barbecue eel rolls. I have salmon avocado rolls. I have a Las Vegas roll, actually two of them. Big massive deep fried roll right there featuring everything from crab, um, salmon, cream cheese, everything in it, very rich. In the awesome sashimi boat here, we have 50 plus pieces. I have squid, I have yellowtail, I have salmon belly, I have scallops, I have um, surf clam, we have salmon. Uh, we also have some octopus nigiri back here. I got cuttlefish, my first time actually ever having cuttlefish. Um, a mango tango roll, a uh, Tokyo roll, honey mustard roll, a torched shogun roll. So just, there's so much food, so many rolls. So it's gonna be absolutely insane. It's gonna be a crazy, crazy, crazy challenge. But hey, I'm ready for it. I love sushi, so let's dig on in. Let's see if I can actually do this. I, uh, I will say sushi is, has beaten me a few times. So let's chew, do my best. We'll have some fun. And ultimately, let's dig on in. Let's have some food. Everyone, so really the only place to get started is to get started. This is, again, absolutely insane. But I have a timer for us here. So I'm ready. Restaurant's ready. Restaurant's ready. Let's get going. Um, got some chopsticks. I have a big thing of soy sauce here. You know, I love my soy sauce. That is a key. I do have wasabi ginger as well. Oh, where do I start? This is, this is always, always the difficulty when you have so much good food. It's like, where do you actually start? Let's just do it. I'll try some of the sashimi to start. All right, so let's okay, say at the count of five, yellow tail. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Tastes like yellow tail. Mm. All right, got some of this stuff. So there's definitely a variety. A lot of people know I usually try to kind of go through things bit by bit, but I see what we have going. Surf clam. All right, I'm starting to realize there's a lot of food here. Very good though. Very, very good. All right. I guess anywhere is fair game. Let's try one of these Tokyo rolls. Ooh. Delicious. Mm. 
such a squid in this one. Crab on top. Very, very good. Have a roll. Mm. Another favorite of mine. Here's some of the dragon rolls. Got right. four different colors. Let's we'll see if I can get through some of these to start. Ooh, damn. That is damn good, actually. Mm. Like, really good. Damn. I Man, it should be the best green dragon roll I've ever had. The avocado is great. Got a shrimp in there. Mm. I'm impressed. Orange dragon roll. Salmon avocado on top. Ooh. Definitely one of my favorites. Very good. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we are at Shogun Sushi in Markham, Ontario doing this absolutely massive 232 piece sushi challenge. That's right, 232 pieces. So here in front of us, we had a large variety of obviously maki, of nigiri, of sashimi like I spoke about. Um, I kind of uh, introduced I think all the flavors and everything in front of us. So let's kind of talk about the food itself. Um, so I will say honestly, everything was really good tasting. Everything was... Uh, uh, fresh everything was um, let's say popping it was really enjoyable I really liked the flavors they definitely had some unique rolls definitely had some unique varieties and then even the things which are as simple as you can get such as like a sashimi uh, it was really good as well um, and definitely the freshness also speaks to the volume and the quality of product that they're actually selling and serving like everything was very high quality it was very fresh and when a restaurant has been around for over 20 years, um, you know they're well established for multiple reasons. They definitely have a very uh, large following, definitely well known in the area, um, you know, and uh, for example, like I know they were doing loads of takeout and pickup orders even while I was there. Um, so definitely a uh, very solid spot and a lot of people obviously like it and I really did as well. Four and a half minutes in. I have to keep up my pace. So not much time, but a lot of food. Mm. Octopus. It wasn't long ago I tried octopus for the first time. Let's go. So while I've had most of the uh, sushi and items in front of me prior, there was definitely something like the cuttlefish, which I never had before. The cuttlefish was very, very interesting. Um, it had, it, it did not have like a, the t tasting was quite mild. It was quite a mild taste, but it had this really interesting crunchy flavor. It's very like kind of very crisp. Um, it definitely didn't, like if somebody gave it to me and I put it in my mouth and chewed on it, I definitely would not think it was a type of sea creature or a fish or squid. Um, it was just, it was very unique. I don't know how else to describe it besides this very crisp crunch, um, almost like the same kind of crisp or crunch you'd get off of some sort of like a really crisp piece of fruit, except, you know, obviously tasting very different and uh, being a lot thinner in texture and not having kind of that watery, airy um, kind of uh, content. So definitely interesting. If you've never tried cuttlefish, I mean, hey, give it a go. See if you like it. Um, and then as well, we had, you know, a number of um, different uh, rolls. I had some octopus as well, which was, this is only my second time having octopus, and it was pretty good. Uh, no complaints about that. Um, everything was also very beautifully presented, as you can see. I mean, that sh sashimi boat is absolutely gorgeous. The way they did the trays up, absolutely gorgeous. And everything so far was very, very delicious, and I looked forward to trying some of the other items. The dragon rolls be done. Many other rolls to be had. 
try this one here, Kamikaze Roll. Hmm. I like it. Let's put a cucumber in it. Go back to front. Put a spice and heat in there. Move my soy sauce less, uh, less traveling distance. So if I was able to actually eat these 232 pieces of sushi um, to complete this challenge, that would definitely be up there with probably one of the biggest or largest amounts of sushi I've ever eaten in one sitting. Um, I definitely have done 200 a couple times, and I have done similar numbers a couple times as well. Um, however, often I did not have an exact quantity, which where this challenge I had a very specific exact quantity, 232 pieces. So I definitely was putting my head down, um, and I had a bit of a strategy going into this. I talk about it a little bit, but let's dive into that a little bit about what kind of strategy I had in order to hopefully complete this challenge. Good spicy salmon. Huge portion of salmon on that too, by the way. Crab roll. Right. There's definitely be a lot of food. Avocados are really nice. Nice and rich. I got a salmon and salmon roe sushi. Woo. If I can pick it up. Ugh, salmon wrapped around rice, roe. I'm just gonna eat it. There's time you just gotta use your hands. So previously in some sushi challenges, I started off with the, like a lot of the lighter items first and kind of saved the heavier, more denser, richer items for last, which I think was always or partially a mistake. Let's adjust this angle a little bit. Make sure my head's not being cut off. All right. We are, let's see what time I am. About nine minutes in. It's gonna be a ride. As you can see, there's all these pieces at the bottom too. I don't know if you can see those or not. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Woo. Let's keep chugging away. Sushi. And let's try cuttlefish. I've never tried cuttlefish. Yeah, definitely different really unique texture so today while i did start with like some of the sashimi and i started with some of the items which i'd probably describe like a medium to light some of the nigiri but also some of the slightly you know let's say medium heavy rolls such as the red dragon rolls or the or black dragon rolls um, and when i say heavy I, I really am talking both in weight but also in like richness um, so while it is hard to go from a very rich strong tasting item to a lesser tasting item. It's a lot easier to go from a lesser tasting item to a stronger tasting item. I knew that eating some of the richer items first would be better than leaving them for last. Got some wasabi here as well. I've been missing out on. Ooh, spicy. Ah, all right. Mm. Try some of these other rolls. Try this torch shogun roll. I've had some people comment on my previous sushi videos uh, in the past asking about like if I use wasabi and if I use ginger and the answer is I definitely do but what I will say is if it's a sushi challenge I'm a lot less likely to use them than if I'm just enjoying them or if I'm at an all-you-can-eat 
when I'm eating at a leisurely pace, that's when I um, use, you know, kind of the more additions, um, you know, I'll call them condiments per se, you know, with the exception of soy sauce, I use the soy sauce all the time, but the ginger, wasabi, I do that in my leisure, however, if I'm trying to crush a sushi challenge or I'm untimed, etc, etc, like in this case, I uh, definitely use it less as it's kind of just, it slows you down a little bit, um, you know, and yeah. Because it's getting about dinner time. I know they get super busy. They have huge, huge, huge takeout while on pickup orders or delivery, or whatever. And I see why. But it's good stuff. Portion's really good. I mean, they haven't here for like 20 plus years, so that speaks for itself. Try to be strategic about what I get through, in which I'm getting some of the richer roll down first is a good idea. But at the same time, it's hard to go from stronger flavors to lesser flavors. But besides that, like I said, basic strategy was to kind of get rid of some of the richer rolls at the start. I felt that was going to be easier than leave them all to the end like I have did prior or in previous challenges. Um, so yeah, kind of just getting through it. Nigiri, Maki, then hopefully get to the sashimi and the rest of the items. Uh... Same avocado roll. Also very delicious. Oh, really? Like I said, anything with the avocado on it is fantastic. Otherwise, a strategy for a sushi challenge, make sure you like the items and make sure you have enough capacity to eat all the food. I'll probably get some of these, um, the uh, sushi sale. Here we got snapper. And some more soy sauce. I'll probably likely go through the whole bottle. By the time I'm done, probably like halfway through. Snapper's good too. And some shrimp. <clears throat> Excuse me. So with that, that's pretty much all the information I have for you right now. Um, ultimately, again, everything was tasting really good to this point. Um, staff are really uh, great as well. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I can complete this challenge. Uh, definitely, it was something that I wanted to put my head down, wanted to just get done, do a little less talking. As the last time I did a sushi challenge prior to this, um, I couldn't. I, I kind of. Uh, I couldn't even eat past about 200 and some pieces, like two, like low 200s. Whereas this was 232, so this is like an extra 30 some pieces. Uh, so with that, let's get to the rest of the video. Let's see ultimately what happens. Comment down below what your favorite kind of sushi is, and if you think I can complete this challenge. Seriously, it's definitely a big one. Um, by the way, if you like this video so far, hit that like button. It really does help the videos out. And with that, ultimately, like I said, let's see what happens. Let's tune on in. Let's get her done. And uh, sushi, that's about it. So let's go. Let's see what happens. And that's it. Just wish me luck. We are about seven, almost 17 minutes in. I'll finish this tray up. We'll get rid of one tray. So I know between these three trays, like plate slash trays at the front, we probably have about, I don't know, 75, 80 pieces left. I'm making our way through it. But that's a lot of food still. A lot of food. Alright. So. Where do we begin? I try to get a little bit of sashimi down. We'll just like, uh, there we got some scallop sashimi. That's really good. Ooh, that's really good actually.
All right. One of the things I haven't really tried that I have still, at least in the roll department, is the Las Vegas. I haven't tried this honey mustard roll either. Looks really good. Got a shrimp in there. Crab. Ooh. Such a really nice flavor. It was very well with the shrimp. Honey mustard. Got some eel sauce in there, definitely sweetness. We still got a lot of food left. Let's try this mango tango roll. Avocado, mango sauce on top. Mm. Some mango in there as well, avocado, crab. That's a cool roll. Quite refreshing too. Mm. I like that a lot. A little bit of sweetness. Vegas roll as well. Ooh. All right. It's actually really good. Heavier as it's deep fried, but. I'm right, dang good. Five minutes, 30 seconds in. 35 seconds now. <sighs> All right. Vegas roll is really good. <sighs> Thank you, sir. All right. I'll try to get through some of this uh, salmon sashimi a little bit. Just because I have so much of it. Super soft, super delicate though. I like to mix with the avocado usually. Really big piece of sashimi though. I do like most wasabi, I'll have some wasabi in it. Very good. Yeah, no complaints about that. That's gonna continue to go down easy. So I'll just get a few more of them. And get on to some of the other stuff. We got rid of some of the avocado ones too. So I'm excited about that. But great combination. Same sashimi is fantastic. Let's go to the reset my camera here real quick. Hello. Everyone can see my face up close. And then on this one, let's adjust the camera. And there we are. Okay, we are rocking and rolling. Perfect. <laughs> and that means we're almost 30 minutes or about 30 minutes in. 28, 50, or 29, 29 minutes right by. Oh my. Lots of food, delicious though. My sinus are starting to run. That's one of the uh, defense mechanisms your body uses to try to get you to stop eating. Fun fact, now you know. Did you want to know? Probably not, but now you do. All right, where were we? Sushi, all the sushi. I have this uh, honey mustard roll.
very nice flavors on the Shogun roll, the torch run as well. So a little spicy mayonnaise in there. Very good. And for everybody still watching at this point, thank you so much for not skipping ahead. And let's play one of our tricks on the skippers. That way they're going to read the comments and have to ultimately come and find in the video where we talked about the subject. So let's comment down below. Oh my gosh, that magician was crazy. Or if you want to have fun with it, maybe you'll say that magician had crazy feet. Or maybe that magician swallowed a fire. Have fun with it. And I look forward to seeing your hilarious comments down below. All right. So... Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine,
last two pieces of the mango tango. I suppose I should probably put the shrimp butts actually in the tray, not just on the table. Okay, sashimi, avocado, oh. 44 minutes and 15 seconds in. Oh. Woo. Let's get her done. I didn't even use the whole bottle of soy sauce. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and just five pieces left. Three salmon sashimi, two avocado, uh, 227 pieces of sushi egg. Oh. Enough to feed a lot of people. We are done. Woo. Somewhere about, I'd say pretty much 27 or 47 minutes right on the dot. I'll stop that now, obviously. I've been talking for a few seconds. So, Shogun Sushi, very delicious. Oh my gosh. Some very, very, very good items. That salmon sashimi was absolutely delicious. No complaints. Super soft, super buttery, super just mm, delicious. It tastes really fresh. Another very key thing, key thing about sushi. Ooh, my nose is still running. Like I said, guys, I'm very full. When it came to their signature rolls, the Las Vegas roll was absolutely delicious. Definitely like a little heavier, but deep fried. Very, very good. Ooh, there you go, got some air. The mango tango was actually really cool as well. Had a nice level of sweetness, which really was cool after having so many, you know, kind of other delicious, some of the really rich items. Honey mustard roll was really cool. That shogun roll was fire, no pun intended. It actually is torched. Um, yeah, everything was good. I really have no complaints. Everything was good through and through. Definitely had to kind of like work through that one. Didn't, you know, knew we were gonna have a lot of time, um, but definitely a large amount of sushi, 232 pieces, a very delicious sushi. So, like I said, guys, this place is bumping for takeout. Taking orders have started. Um, so definitely come pick yourself up some great food. Stop on by. Um, yeah, if you're ever in the Markham area and or live in Markham, hey, no complaints about that. So over 20 years, they're well established and they're gonna be here for a long time, let's put it that way. So everybody, until next time, hope you enjoy it. Of course, stay happy, hungry, happy eating. That's about it, had enough sushi for a while and uh, just have a lovely day. Look at this, I actually reached the camera today, so until next time. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out it helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically picked two videos yes that's right two videos specifically for you right here so click a video right now get that going and it's going to end so click one quick let's go let's go and have a great day